What's up, everybody? I'm the Moon Sky, and welcome to Jurassic Park's 25th anniversary. Yeah, I can't believe it either. It's Jurassic Park's 25th anniversary, and for what I did was something very special. I made all these Legos just for it, just to give you something because on YouTube I've gone around searching and I'm searching for the last four months. And I cannot find anything easy, semi-easy to make, but also really cool, of just dinosaurs. All I could find was like Jurassic, like a Jurassic, the game, that's all I could find. I, I found some other really cool things, but this is the best, I think, personally. And so, I, I'm doing a whole bunch of this stuff, and... I can't wait to show you more of it, but this is the first deal, the first wave of everything. And so because of that, I, I just, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification because we're going to be doing much more of this. And because of that, we're just, in, in general. Just a whole bunch. We're doing the Lost World. We're doing Jurassic Park 3. We're doing Chaos Effect. We're doing uh, Jurassic World. We're doing the Fallen Kingdom. Five more. So you don't want to miss those things, okay? Trust me, because they, we have special builds with special vehicles, special dinosaurs, special buildings. And you don't want to miss those. We even have two special built dinosaurs out right now for you guys. Well, technically, one's a dinosaur, one's a marine reptile, but you guys get the point, right? And so, up in this corner right here, you'll see a little mini cam, just up in the corner, that should show this. This, this down here, which you see up in the corner, is my finger, just wiggling about. But also, in the main screen, you see it down here. Which, I, I love this. Because, you guys see the more in-depth view looking this way while you see the overall view so you just see my hand just going up and down like over here but also on the main cam it looks like I'm about to grab a T-Rex but I'm really not <coughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re review all the custom and by the way I built everything everything's custom made Except for Bruce Wayne and Blue. Those are the only two things that I personally did not come up with on my own. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to mention a vote. And I'll explain more, but you got to watch through the whole entire video. And at the end of the video, I'll explain the vote. It'll be up here if you want to already check it out. Up in the little corner right here. In this one area. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get started. Most of you are one thinking this either doesn't look really too much or it looks freaking awesome. One of you, you're either one or you're kind of in the middle like, eh, hey, okay, yeah, some of it looks really cool, but then other is like, okay. You're, you're one of the three. For me, I'm kind of in between. It's really cool and okay, some of it could be bad. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with minifigs, then go on to the buildings, and then go to the dinosaurs. So, with my close cam here, I'll be showing you the minifigs and everything up close. So, right off the bat, we have Alan Grant right here. So, let me just plop it on right here, just like this. You, you can barely see him on here, but we get it to right here, seems so much better. So he's before the T-Rex attacks, and he's kind of wearing his awesome hat. Yeah, not, not too much. I'm not going to go into te too much detail. Next up, we have Henry Wu, which is actually more of the look for dress world than uh, dress part. And where is another carrot? Okay. That's a little weird. So here's Henry Wu. Nice, nice. Here's the back side of him. 
Not too much. And I apparently am missing John Hammond. Well then. Oh wait, no, never mind. He's on the floor. Sorry, John. And this is the one. He actually has his amber cane. It's not too much. I mean, I could. I tried my best, but then. Because I couldn't really get an old guy to look like him. So, I tried my best with him. If I can pick him. Oh, there's Lux too. Forgot. Eh. Okay, here we go. So, here's John Hammond. He does not have any hair on him, so. There he is. Not too much. He has this Amber Kane. So, white suit and a little bit of a beard. Not too much. And then let me go grab Lex. So it, it. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you did not know, this is actually my third try of trying to record. Dang it. This is actually my third time trying to record this. There we go. I was actually trying to get the chair out, and I may have broken some layers, sadly, for other future videos. So, oh my gosh, the cat fell off too. <sighs> Alright, this is actually the third try of trying to do this. So, third time's charm, right? So here's Lex, she's actually missing a hand, sadly, but this is after the T-Rex attacks and she's all muddy, and she has her ball cap right there. So, next up, we have the lawyer on the toilet, which is actually just, uh, Bruce, B no, not Bruce Banner, uh, Bruce Wayne, and he is playing the role as the lawyer, so it's actually, I'm giving you a look at the toilet as well, not too much to the toilet, quite simple actually, then, uh, do, 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 do. Ah, Ellie Sattler. That's always a fun one, right? So not much of her. She's just wearing a little vest. Not too much. So that should be all the characters. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this one. Um, Tim. And actually, Tim and Henry Wu share the same hair. Because uh, I cannot find the other hair piece for Tim. So they share the ha same hair. And uh, if you take a good close look at Tim, you see some big eyebrows going on. Some big ones. Some big ones going on. This does not look too happy. So that was all the characters. I don't have this dread. dread net. Nedry. I don't know why I can speak. Maybe because I got a bad cough. Oh, sorry. And Robert Baldoon. And some of the employees. That's it. That I really don't have. Yeah. So let's get started on. I know most of you are just looking in the little camp like, look at this building with uh, Rexy right here. Yes, it's gonna put Rexy like that. And up front, we just have the park gates. So up next, we have our buildings. Now this is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna start off with the very first thing of Dress Park, and it is. Da -da -da -da. Oh, this is really great because you can see the the mini cam right here, and then you can see what it is kind of outside the whole sizing of it. It's right down here. It is the uh, transportation unit for the Velociraptor. So here's kind of a look of it. <coughs> and it's not too much. Spin it around. Around and around and around. And so here's the front. And the gate actually opens up. So I'll show you right here as well. Oh. 
And you see these little deals, the little step? Well, if I take out this, there should be a second one right there, yep. And that keeps the gate in place so it doesn't slide outwards like that. So it's actually in place just like that. Just good. And the Velociraptor, so we're going to take blue, just barely fits in there. Okay, thank goodness there's actually sides on openings so the tail could fit through. If not, it, it would not be big enough. So that's the first one. Really simple to make. Second thing that we have is the helicopter, actually. So I'm going to put in Tim, because why not? So here you can see the outside, how big it is, right next to the Brachiosaurus. And we'll bring it down for landing. So it does have some police stickers. It doesn't have a big propeller, or blade, I should say. Smaller one right here. And then you see this, it looks like it's cut off. But really, nope. Just a little opening. So you can see Tim sticking in there. So it could just be up here, open, or it can be closed. So a lot of these things can be reused for different things, such as this can be used for Lost World, uh, Fallen Kingdom, uh, World, Dress World. So it can be used for a lot. Um, I think the next thing I want to go for is this. may not look like much, but it's actually a little sign. You know those little signs that they have? Kind of like they had for the Dilophosaurus, like saying, you're not here at the Dilophosaurus, or with the Dilophosaurus little sign. And that was circle. So you could print yourself a little one out, just place it on there. It has a little light that comes down. It's not too much, but uh, it's really, really cool. So you, it's really not big. It's probably as big as a human minifig. Next up, I don't feel like I, I don't want to feel like I'm rushing you guys, but it's already at 12 minutes, and I have to get this done in 30. Yeah, trust me, I've done this three times. I've hit 30 on nail, like dead center every time. It's crazy. So next up we have the Jurassic Park Innovation Center, I don't, or I should say Jurassic the Main Center. I don't know what it's called exactly, so I'm calling it Innovation Center. Center. And so it's not that much, here's the front angle of it, uh, it has a little clear, clear deals right here, it has a little tops on the side, and on the side it's just clear. And then in the back, we have a control room right here. Just little controls right here on the computer. And the inside, it actually can be customized as much as you want. But for me personally, I did not want to stick my hands in there and mess things up as far as it goes. <coughs> so, and there is a little action feature that I do like. It's on the front. It just pops open. So you can have, say... The human's just plopping on down. Oh, wait, is that fall? Yeah, it hit. Oops. And what they goes Alan Grant into the void. Or you can have something poking up into here. So that's an example. Oh, it's bad night. Um. Then when you're coming down. To actually one of my favorite, more favorite things, and it is the foot. No, where is that? Oh wait, it's right in front of me. I'm blind. It was right here the whole time. So we're gonna get on to the jeep and the Dilophosaurus attack scene. So I'm gonna bring this right in front of the T-Rex paddock. So you guys can see how it looks. I'm gonna bring this back actually. So it doesn't focus on this too much. So I'm going to show you this. The ramp. So as you can see, there's like a little mud out area up here. And then some sand and then some rocks. And just an upper layer. 
So what it does is it kind of has that little slope that goes down. Now this can actually move up, so you have a bigger slope, or not a slope, but a bigger area. Or just you can have it down at different levels of whatever you want it. Or you can just have a wall. So for example, just have that. Which is not a bad idea. But the inside, that's how the inside looks. It's bare. So, we have all these different Lego parts on here, and it's looking like some rocks. And then you can kind of see up here, I'll bring this around. You can see on the camera down here, on the down here, you can see that we have some vegetation. Now, this is also including a little, like, stopper. It just goes up, it's a uh, two by one, and it goes about one brick up in the air. And we have three little cylinders, so let me show you. These three little cylinders attached to a car axle on top of two uh, one by ones. Just attach it onto there. And it looks like it's the tree is stopping the car, but it's really not. And then we take the leaf, we just cover that right up. So it looks like a tree is falling. And what we use for that is the Jeep. Now, here's the Jeep. I'm just gonna scoot this back so we can actually get the Jeep in frame. So the Jeep kind of does look ugly, but over time you kind of look at it and it's like, okay, yeah, it looks kind of good. But it could be better. It's actually one of my first vehicle builds for all of this. And you had to keep it down to size of how big it is. So what I wanted to do was have a minifig fit in here, so there's what I, there's a gap. But uh, here's the front view. There's actually a little line that connects this, this pull it, and there's the rope attached to a little hook. <coughs> and give me one second. Uh, camera's acting up. So... Ah! There we go. Now we're good. Why do I keep stepping on things? I don't know. But okay. Back to what we were doing. The Jeep. So it's, it has wide tires. Front just has that. And it has this back slope right here. And it actually serves a purpose. So it's like the either one that Nedry's in when he gets killed by the Dilop source. Or it could be <coughs> an extra space where you can put another minifig. For example, uh, like Ian Malcolm when he's being chased by the T-Rex. That's another example. Or Ian Malcolm when he is in the Jeep being chased by the T-Rex. Along with um, Sarah. Why Sarah? No. Uh, Dr. Sattler and... Uh, Malgrim. So usually I just keep it on like this because it just fills it out a little bit more. And here's a Jeep on top. So it just kind of stops right there. Up there, stuck. Takes the rope. Swings it around the tree, by the way. There you go. And you just pull it. And kind of have to hold it down, but it works. So, there you go, there's the other part. I'm going to put the T-Rex enclosure back up here. And now we come down to the next part, which is the T-Rex sign. Which is actually about a little bit bigger than a minifig, it's about as big as the Velociraptor or the Lophosaurus. And has two... Uh, two by four base plates right here in the front, so you can put like a little warning T-Rex or T-Rex sign, or do not feed the T-Rex. And yeah, it has a little blue lighting side around it. Now on the back, we ha I had to fill it like this because there's holes. There's holes right there, so I just put a little deal of the. 
make it look nice, I guess. Not so much on that. But now, on to our last two builds that we have. I won't be doing the vegetation because that's really simple and easy. But, uh, on the next build, we have the T-Rex Breakout. Now I'm going to bring this back right here into shot. Uh, uh, there we go. And I'm going to showcase Rexy. So this is the T-Rex uh, enclosure with the electrical bars on the side. So it looks realistic. I love it, personally. And we have the little blue lights on the side that are actually clear. And we have a little bit of leafage, or a little growth on the sides, like if there's growth on the sides, or if there was like this storm that came through and just got stuck to it, for example. And this actually comes with a really cool action feature. So we're going to move this back right here. So Rexy's just stomping along, sees the, uh, the Ford Explorer. I haven't showed you this yet. Takes a four to square, and just stomp it through, seize it. Well, boom! The power line's down. Rixie's now bitten it, and now stomps on through, and gets ready to wreck the car. Yes! Just wreck the car. Rexy won. If you can tell, Rexy won. But actually, I really enjoyed this. Because they're, the action feature for it, it just breaks. And it can go back to normal. Like if it was just the normal power line, so... Whoop. My only downside is it only happens on one side. That's my only downside to it all. And you can have multiples of these. Just like, imagine that. You just have multiples of these. That would be really cool. Oh, that'd be so cool. And then our final build. Wait, no, not final yet. No, no, no. We still got one more big. Then we got our final build. So we have the Ford Explorer. Not that big. About three and a half grips wide or long. Uh, really bulky. So you can just like throw it on the ground and it will stay together. So a little bait the back. Not too much. It has a little hook on the front so you can pull it. And a clear slant brick and a gray top. Really not too much to it. Now our final build. So you can see it in the front. Jurassic Park. And I'll bring this on over here. Oh dang it. Oh. Oh the light. Ah. Okay. Well then. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. So we have the JP. I know it looks backwards, but on here, it looks correct. Anyway, just ignore that fact that it looks weird up here, okay? Just ignore that fact. And so we have the little flames on the side. Of course, you can always add more. And the white, it, it was meant to be gray, but that's all I really had at the time. I had a little fence rail up here. And the leafage around the sides. It's not too bulky, it's just lanky in a way, and tall. It's probably, yeah, it's the tallest build here. But not the long, longest, sorry. And we have the little, of the, um, bottom right there. Of course you can add, like, fencing. But that light's getting really bright. So I'm going to keep that right there. <coughs> now, we finally get to move on to the dinosaurs. Yay! So I'm going to start off with Brachiosaurus. Now this is, doesn't even fit in the shot. It just gets up to his elbow. Elbow, which is right here. So I'm just going to move it back out of shot. About to, just right here, up front. For you guys to see. So it is made out of bionicle parts. And this weird part right here. But it is Lego. And all of it's flexible. I personally like this the most. Not the most, but how big it is and 
it actually takes two bodies of fire and coals to make it work, actually. And it has the underbelly. Hang on, I can show you what this has an underbelly and top. Done. So that's the main reason. Not too much with that. They really show. Because everything just moves and you want to really see me just move every little part. Yeah. So next up, we have the Dilophosaurus. Yes, Dilaph. Dilaph. Laffy. We have Laffy over here. Here's Laffy. So here's Laffy. Or Dilophosaurus for you. Has its uh, crest. Its legs can move. It's lit and also feet. So you can get these really cool positions. And it's not really too much different from the Velociraptor actually. As far as like how it looks. You see similarity in teeth, size, how the legs are. Not really tail, but it's a nice golden color. It should be a green color, but uh I really only had tan and yellow for it. Try to keep on this side so you can see my face actually. And not too much to it. You can also remove the thrill. It's really cool. So it, it looks like this normal. Also, if you move the next dinosaur, if you move the head for just one brick, then it becomes a completely new dinosaur. Which, by the way, is the big one. Which is just the Velociraptor. So here's the Velociraptor, just kind of look at it. Woo! And that light's starting to follow me. Oh well. I can't reach it. Eh! Yeah, no, it's like a couple feet away is my window. So I can't really do anything about that. So here's just the how it looks. Next up, the Velociraptor. Why not? So it's just blue. This is from Lego Dimensions, so you can check that out on your own. And then we have the Gaming Beaver's favorite dinosaur. We have a parasaur with all of this. Now this is his favorite dinosaur. I use the colors maybe from yeah, the dress card colors, not from the Lost World. So it actually can do a lot of different poses because it has its leg joints feet, and its arms move as well. So you can have it like this, on walking on floors, or running, or just on lookout. Also, I used some levers on the back so it would look like skin, like the back of its crest. You can't really see, but you can kind of see there's some uh, levers on the back of its neck. So it looks like skin. And then, we have one of the, no, the galley miners. So it's about the same size as the Lophosaurus, just a little taller due to its neck. And it only has really articulation within the hand, uh, tail, which can just droop down and hold the galley miners up. And also in the legs. So they only move like left and right, or forward and back, I should say. So, not too much to the galley. Just mainly made of crates. Then, we got my favorite dinosaur, the Triceratops. And you may call me just like, oh, it's, yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> anyway, Triceratops does not have that much articulation. It has a little bit of articulation in the neck, but also within the legs as well. It's just circling right there. It's really not that big. We got the horns, very small horn and two large horns that stick out. Not too much. It ain't too big. And the dinosaur that you've all been waiting for is Rexy. And this is actually Rexy before she gets her scars. So Rexy actually has a lot of articulation within the legs and feet. So you can get these different poses of her just kind of walking, running, just different stuff like that. Her roaring, 
fighting down, running, just different poses, and she's composed so many uh, gr uh, grounds and a couple of tan. It's really interesting. I'll go more in depth with this, with a review, oh, or not a review, but how to make. So we're not done. Oh, jeez. Ah, sciences. Ah. We're not done yet. No, 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 no. We have two special builds, which are a marine life and a dinosaur. So here's the marine life, here's the dinosaur, yeah. Mystery. Ooh. No. Which is actually. First one is the dinosaur. This is the Strathus first. Which is a ceratopsian that was found in Michael Cretton's book of Jurassic Park. Which is really interesting because I really like the design of this, how I made it. There's these lovers that actually make up its horns that stick out. It's really nice. So if we bring down this horn, you can see that. We have a little horn right here for him. So if we bring down that, you can see that. This little horn right here. Or long horn, I should say. And these legs are short and stubby, just like the Triceratops. And the tail moves up and down, so it gives that even more articulation. And only a couple of these can do that. And the only two can do that right now is Stratosaurus and Brachiosaurus that we've found out so far. So not too much of them. Mainly a black, black down his back and grays. You know, kind of a tan on his head. So not too much to him. So I'm going to put him in the front gate right there. And our second one, which is a plesiosaurus. This is a white plesiosaurus found in Jurassic World, the game. Yeah, the app game. So, not the same colors, but uh, actually it was also found in uh, Dress Park Builder. And I believe this is one that looks more like it, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, it only has one function. Whoop! Whoop! So it looks like it's diving down, or swimming up, or just have it out like this. It's very small. Just very small indeed. And it's really simple to make. I mean, you don't need that many parts for this. It's really simple, so, and that light's getting worse. <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up. I did not forget about the boat, which is up in the corner, I believe, this corner. No, it's up in this. I, I have no clue. It's one and two. And I want you to vote for your favorites. So we're going to have, I'm going to select uh, three, bi two buildings that I'm going to make for you. Just, yeah, yeah, there we go. Much better. I'm going to select two buildings for you. Two buildings for you to make, or I'm gonna show you how to make. I'm gonna show you how to make three of my mini figures, and then three of my dinosaurs. Now Rexy's already included into the build, so you don't have to vote for her. She's already in it, so she's the fourth dinosaur. Now for the three dinosaurs, that's completely on you. It could be any. It could be the mystery dinosaur. It could be uh, the Plesiosaurus, it could be Striacosaurus, it could be Brachiosaurus, the buildings, it could be the the vehicles also include the buildings, so you just go up here and vote, if you're not subscribed to me, you can still vote, if you're not even signed into a YouTube account, you can still vote, so you guys have an option, so guys, if you have enjoyed this video, which I have personally. This is a long video. I'm surprised the cameras lasted this long already. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't, because we're making more videos like this. They're completely awesome. And Jurassic Month, okay? And also turn on post notifications so you don't miss the... of how to make all these different dinosaurs, because I know I'm not going to want to miss Rexy. Or how to make Save the Park Gate. Or how I made Lex. Those are just different things. 
So, I hope you guys have enjoyed as much as I have. Also, comment down below, what is your favorite dinosaur, and were you expecting these, uh, the marine animal and the Shrek source as the special dinosaur? So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.